All right, so I've reviewed the Surface Pro for a photo, but how does the Surface Pro perform when it comes to video? So let's say you are a videographer and you are outside doing something and you're going to edit something on the spot, on location, and all you have is the Surface Pro. So how does it work? Uh, will, it, uh, will it live up to the MacBook Pros? Let's find out. So I'm going to fire up Adobe Premiere Pro CC here on the Surface Pro. And oh, it came up quicker than expected. It actually came up very, very quick. So uh, I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to name it Surface Test. Now this is a Surface Pro, the first generation one, not the Pro 2, not the Pro 3. So the Pro 2 and Pro 3 should theoretically be better than the Surface Pro. So the Pro 3 has a 8 gig i7 configuration. So that should blow this away. But let's see how it performs on this. So I'm going to import a video. I'm going to import a uh, 15 second video I just shot. And then I'm going to uh, create a new sequence. Let's just call it sequence one. And then I'm going to bring this in. All right, sorry, I created a very low resolution sequence. New sequence. Okay. The screen is horribly small, I can tell you that. Okay, I'm gonna make it, okay. 1920 by 1080. Aspect ratio, square pixels. All right. That should be it. And then I will now show you my project settings. Now I'm using the Mercury Playback Engine GPU acceleration. I'm using hardware acceleration, although it says my hardware is not certified, but YOLO. And then I'm going to try to play back this video. All right, so far this uh, playback is very, very uh, smooth. As you can see, I can just scrub back and forth with minimal delay. That was on half resolution though. Let's, let's bring it to full force. We're gonna do it in full resolution. All right, so now it's just playing back the video. Let's try applying some effects to this and see how it works then. So let's apply uh, RGB curves. Now again, tiny screen. All right, let's add a bit of contrast to this. So I'll add an S curve. As you can see, the uh, rendering is actually going quite well. So it's not giving me too much delay. It's usable, it's completely usable. So I'm just gonna do a bit of minor, easy, casual color grading, which is going to look horrible. But still, up to now, the playback... Okay, the frame rate has obviously dropped um, because it's previewing in full 1080p uh, full resolution. So, but still, the preview is completely uh, usable. It's not an unusable frame rate. Let's drop it to half frame rate. Okay. It is going really, really smooth, even at half frame rate. So when you're editing the preview, it doesn't really have to be at full resolution. I always uh, edit with half. Um, sorry, I always edit with half resolution, and it's holding up quite well. Now let's do something that will really uh, spark up the CPU. We're going to apply sharpening. So we are going to sharpen this footage. Now actually, let's do something even more intensive. Let's do unsharpen mask. So we're using unsharpen mask, I'm gonna set the amount to um, 50, radius to 3. Alright, now let's see how it plays back. Alright, at half resolution, you can see the frame rate uh, significantly dropping. 
Now the frame rate has obviously dropped because Unsharpened Mask is really CPU intensive. Let's bring it down to a quarter resolution and see how it plays oh, back. Oh, it's actually very quite smooth in quarter resolution. Now I doubt it's a uh, full uh, frame rate at 24 frames per second, but still it is quarter resolution and I have applied two layers of effects to this. I have applied an RGB curve and I have applied a unsharpened mask, which is known to be a really quite CPU intensive. All right, so now we have that. Let's see how quick this thing renders. So I am going to export the sequence. I'm going to put it on Q. I'm going to use Media Encoder. And it takes a while to boot. All right. Now let's choose a preset. H.264. And we're going to match. Actually, let's not match the source. Let's do HD 1080p. All right, at 24 FPS, we are going to export this to our desktop. And let's see how quick it renders a 15 second video. That has completed. Now let's uh, see how quick. All right, so it encoded a 15 second video in two minutes and nine seconds. Now bearing in mind, this is again a tablet, something you can hold in your hand. While it was encoding, uh, the fans kicked into action to blow out some nice hot air. That means the CPU was really going to work. Now keeping in mind, this surface doesn't have a real GPU. It doesn't have a graphics card. It uses integrated graphics in the Intel i5. Uh, I think it's the HD 4000 graphics driver. So with that, the encoding time is really quite impressive. Two minutes for a 15 second video. Now I know it's still quite a large ratio and it could take forever if you're uh, trying to render uh, a long project. But still, I would recommend you actually exporting something using a Surface Pro. But for editing, it's really quite feasible. So that is it, everyone. I hope my video has helped you. If you have any questions and comments, just post them in the section, uh, comment section below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.